Hey, everybody. Tommy Skull, you are on the lifeboat. What's happening? Should we do a... Uh, oh, squirrel's so cute. I know. I wish you could see her. Uh, let's do a uh, let's do a roll call. Janet G, what's happening? Kristen Melinda, good to see you. Sarita, good to see you. Smoke. Pajama Pixie. Plant Freak, always an honor. Jennifer Lemke, good to see you. Roberta, Body Illusion, Plant Freak. Janet G, Debbie Logan, Monica, how are you? Hey, it's Tony Suter. Or Tony Shooter. It's, it's Tony Suter. Who's kidding? Who? Oh, look, it's Lady Fiona Crispin. What's happening, Lady Fi? Ah, oh, it's good to see you. Good timing. Valerie 102. Yarn Prepper. Well, I'll be damned. Uh, Liz Tricks, good to see you. Tina. How are you? So, da -na 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 -na, down to Gonky Park. I was kicking it with the kid, uh, jamming out a little uh, before we went live here to some Scorpions. I don't know if you're a Scorpions fan, but if you lived through the 80s and, oh, no sound. Isn't that something? Can I get a five by five from the rest of you? I think that that no sound might just be you, Debbie P. Might want to check and see if we're muted. Because if not, by then, everybody would be yelling at me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'd be getting yelled at. So I think it might be you. There we go. Here's the five by five. Look at that. Oh, seven Sun is here. Seven Sun. That's an honor. An honor. Many are a long time. 1,600 videos. I don't know how many of them Seven Sun has missed. I'm just saying that. The vast majority of them. As has Charlie Murphy. And uh, yeah, it happens, Debbie. We mute things. It is what it is. The Scorpionist. Yes, the Scorpionist. Love them. Um, that song in particular, though, is uh, has always... Um, I... Excuse me. I had the opportunity to go to uh, Russia a lot. I had the opportunity to go to a lot of countries in the former Soviet Union. East Coast! Nancy, Nancy, good to see you. Um, yeah, Rocky, like a hurricane. I... Uh, and I, I actually had um, gone down to Gorky Park and uh, and it was funny because the number of people that I ran into who were down in Gorky Park who were whistling the beginning to that song or were singing it, I bet I run in, ran into five or ten people that were uh, that were doing that. You're in your closet under a tornado uh, warning in central Mississippi. Can we please get some ones for Monica? Because that's scary. Yes, the Scorpions band. I was not hanging out with Scorpions. I've, uh, they're still dropping albums. Well, I'll be damned. You won't be here tomorrow. Hubby took off for his birthday. Uh, well, um, have a good time with your hubbies. Pre-80 Scorpions are my favorite. Well, there you go. There's always, um, you know, I, uh, I get like that with certain artists that... Um, let me take you up to speed on uh, on all things Tommy Scovo. Really. So, uh, for those of you who just got to the boat, we've been doing this for a hot minute, about uh, about three years, I think. Three years and some change. Scorpions, my high school days, right? My sister George, not to be confused with my sister Christian, also eighties. Uh, Monica, keep us in the loop. Let us know you're okay, all right? Life's been good to me so far. There's Jen Marie. Deep breath. Was that for me, the deep breath? I got one. It was a, a fairly deep one. Let's see. Melissa, good to see you. Scorpions, most boring concert ever. Hey, look, I'll be really honest. Uh, one of my favorite bands of all time was a, uh, a band by the uh, by the name of Steely Dan. And I saw them. Hey, Noise Opera, good to see you. I saw them on their reunion tour. The uh, Becker Fagan, 20 Years of Silence. Steely Dan. Great tour. Um, great music. It sounded like they were in the studio. They did not, however, move at any point. They could have been the people from the... Uh, the Jamboree band at uh, Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, they honestly moved a lot more than uh, Steely Dan did, but the music was fantastic. Three years, it has been uh, it has been a ride, Fancy Nancy, right? Um, a lot of people uh, that have been helped in that time. Um, really, a um, Benny Benny Bang Bang, there you go. Um, 
I think we have helped a lot of people in that time. I'm pretty damn proud of it, if you want to know the truth. I think a lot of people have uh, have been um, exposed to some concepts that are different. Um, and a lot of people have uh, have had an opportunity to really look differently at, uh, at addiction and, uh, and about what we do with addiction and all of that. Um, and then uh, it's, it's amazing. I remember when uh, we, we first went live, I went back and looked at it and it was uh, it was in the fall about three years ago. And uh, Noble Savage, good to see it. It was so it was so amazing the first time we went live, how much different it uh, it felt. Um, you know, the connection and how uh, and how we felt and how close I felt to every single person on the lifeboat. Once we went live, that connection was so amazing. It really was. It's you work as a public speaker and you go on stage and you do hundreds and hundreds of shows. I don't know. Maybe I did a thousand. Who knows? Um, but there's no interaction with the crowd. In fact, that's a nightmare. Right. The last thing in the world you want is the crowd doing anything except asking a question. And that's at the end and only when. Um, why, thank you, Jen Marie. That's a kind thing to say. Uh, noble Savage looking good in green. Um, but you don't interact with the crowd. There's no interaction. There's zero interaction. And when we started the lifeboat, when we went live, the amount of interaction was 182 days sober with the boat. Fantastic. Seventh. That is awesome to hear. It really is. Um, the, uh, we, we, we've, uh, we tested a lot of lives in three years. There's no question. Right. And the number of you who I got to talk to one-on-one -on -one and the number of people that I've gotten to, uh, to work with one-on-one -on -one and really, uh, and really get to know a lot of you. It was, uh, it's, it's an honor beyond that, that I can explain to you and about 60 or 70 days ago. Right. There was a, there was a bit of a paradigm shift and it started the shift about, uh, about two months ago. And, uh, they stabbed it with their steely knives, but they just can't kill the beast. Yeah. Little, uh, little reference to Steely Dan and to, uh, Hotel California, the uh, seminal work of the Eagles. Great, uh, great stuff. Um, uh, and about 60 days ago, I started to uh, started to get um, I started to get undertones and I started to get feelings when the boat when when channels get bigger, this happens. It is one of those things. Right. It, it is normal right? that, that the, the uh, channel channels uh, change and they get bigger and they evolve. And, and we've been very unique in from the very first day we, we said this is your channel and uh, and you can do with your channel what you want. I, uh, I get the best seat in the house. Right. But this is your channel. And we've really stuck with that. We let you name it. We let you name the cat, right? Um, your husband talks about that eagle reference. I like that eagle's reference too. Pretty big fan of Steely Dan. Um, Becker and Fagan had it had it going on. Um, Goosebumps 801. Listening while you pack for a trip tomorrow. Well, I hope you have a safe trip. Um, Vinny, Vinny, Vicky came, saw, and conquered. Um, Tommy, you should get ordained. You may be able to marry some lifeboat hookups. There you go. I should be an ordained minister, shouldn't I? Then about a month back, um, then about a month back, I really started to uh, to, to feel um, changes and undercurrents. And uh, there's a lot of you who are really unhappy with the direction that the uh, the lifeboat is going. And you know what? You have every right to be unhappy with the direction that the lifeboat is going. That is completely legit. It really is. Um, you saw them in concert twice. Well, Spike, what we were saying is they don't they don't dance around a lot. They're an excellent band, right? But they they don't do a whole lot of uh, dancing around. Oh wow! So um, there are a lot of people that are just uh, that aren't um, uh, that aren't happy with the direction that I'm uh, that I'm taking the boat, and I get that. And it's uh, is it a uh, a majority? It's not. It is a hey, Tommy Stiggs came over from Tommy Stiggs channel. It's an honor. I'm glad that you're here. It is a, is it a uh, minor? I mean, a majority? It is not. It is a minority, a very small minority. It is a vocal as hell minority. Um, 
SPTV Tattoo Warrior. Aaron's first show was July 7th, 2015. I'll be darned. Um, yeah, it's a hot minute ago. Wow, that's very cool. Uh, Lynn, you've got to love that. Lynn Sandy says, when I first came on board, I was content with just being alcohol-free because of the wisdom of this group. I am journaling daily and trying to kick the weed for the first time in two decades. Oh, I think that's awesome. I absolutely think that is awesome. Right? you got to love that. You really do. The uh, So uh, it is most assuredly, as I have said, from uh, from the word go, this is your, uh, this is your boat. Um, and uh, I, uh, I will watch this though, go in any direction that you guys want to take it to, right? SPTV2 Tattoo Warrior says, stop burying the lead. I'm sorry. Um, I could, I guess, speed this up for you. This is, this is a bit of a bitch, to be really honest with you. I'm struggling. So if I'm burying the lead, I'm sorry. Um, uh, the, uh, I'm going to be happy. I promise, right? I'm going to be happy. It's going to be what I do. I'm going to make myself happy. I, uh, I don't know how much time I got left, but I promise you I'm going to freaking make myself happy. And the really great thing is the, uh, I think you get to a point where you, uh, where you need, oh, for the love of everything good. Uh, I think that you reach a point in, uh, you know, where you, you need new blood on the bright side. I think there's plenty of new blood. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I've, there's, uh, there's all kinds of talent on this boat and, uh, and the boat isn't going anywhere. This isn't the end of the lifeboat. It's not what I came on here to do. I said, I came on to say that, uh, that there's going to be a change here and, uh, I am really looking forward to the change. I really am. I got out of doing things that I thought were low. I got out of doing things that I thought were low hanging fruit that re-victimized people and made huge paychecks. I'm not that person. And if I ever decide to be that person, maybe I'll go back to sticking needles in my arms because I think I got more respect for junkies if you want to know the effing truth. So I'm not going to sell out, right? I'm not going to do any of that. So what I'm going to do instead is, um, I'm, what I'm going to do is take a different uh, role and responsibility at the lifeboat. Uh, and phase myself out of the uh, of the captain's chair. The beautiful thing is, there are people ready to take the captain's chair that are going to kill it. I am going to do uh, everything in within my power to um, create more cash flow for the lifeboat. I told a story the other day of somebody, and I'd love to out this person because they literally saved somebody's life, but I'm not going to out them because they asked me not to. But there was somebody who, I mean, with six seconds to spare, I was about to turn somebody away. I was about to turn somebody away that said, I need help, right? And in the past, you know what we did? I just pulled out my visa card, but I'm not working other jobs. We kind of shut that down to do this. So I'm going to start taking a different uh, kind of a role and I'm going to start doing some things. My brother and I have got some things that are, uh, that are in development. And I want to tell you something. I love this. What I'm doing right now, I love this. When I shut this computer, I hate you. How do you like that? When I shut this computer, I hate you. Not Scooby, not Brazy, not Zenwen, not Monica, not Izzy, but you. The audience of the lifeboat. Not one at a time. I love every single one of you. But you as an audience, I hate when I'm not filming. Now, how healthy is that? I've met other people that say stuff like this and I thought, what kind of scumbag can say they hate their audience? But here's what happens. I do two one hour shows and everybody's happy with that. Then what I get is 45 minutes of complaints about what I did wrong on that show, how I stepped on your dick or her fingers or whatever, right? That's what I get. And then when that is over, I get all of the people who I really want to help, right? But a two hour show takes me 120 hours a week to put on. To do two shows a day takes me 120 hours a week. And that's great when I'm being treated nice. But when people start crapping on me too, right? When people don't like the direction of the boat or I'm not doing enough of this or enough of that, well, then we'll get somebody in here that does what you want them to do. For real. And when you bring in new blood, they want to talk about the stuff you've talked about for 1,500 hours. 
right? They want to talk about that. But it is what it is, right? Trust me, I'm not looking for drama points. I'm not looking for any of that. But I don't want to hate you guys. I don't want to become the dude that literally hates his audience. Because when we're doing this and we're live, I love you guys, man. This is a drug to me. This is a high to me. Do you understand? Literally, this is my buzz. And then I shut the computer and it just becomes hell. It was so much fun when I felt like I was helping people. I don't feel like I'm helping people. I feel like people are trying to get me high. That's what I feel like. I feel like the world is trying to push me as close as they can get me to, uh, to sticking a needle back in my arm. And you know what? I love you guys. Not, a, not as much as I love my sobriety. And, and I start to think to myself, here are the options. The options are I can do my uh, shows and never speak to one of you ever when I'm not live, ever. Turn off my emails, change my phone number, and just do this. I don't see me getting the buzz out of that. You feel me? I don't feel like I'm going to feel like I'm hurt. I'm helping people. Here's the funny thing, Lena. I'm leaving because of my fans, not because of my trolls. That's the sad part, right? I don't want to stop doing this because of the trolls. The trolls don't bother me. Those guys are not on my radar. This is because of the fans. The fans who tell me I don't say this right or the fans who tell me because I said, God bless you, I somehow offended them, right? Or the fans who, who tell me I'm a Democrat or the fans who tell me I'm a Republican. I lost a lot of patience, to be honest, especially because I'm not out here trying to make a dollar and doing YouTube content like the rest of the world. I'm not. I got a mission and my mission was to help people. And you know what? I get shit on more than I get. <laughs> and I get shit on by my fans, by the people that tell me they love me. We love you, but you need to do less of this content. We love you, but you need to do more of this content. Right? We love you, but you need to stop talking to this person. Or we love you, but you need to talk more to that person. Guess what? Guess what? It gets really old. It really does. I don't intend to leave the lifeboat. It is a substitute addiction. Pretty healthy one, if you want to know the truth. It really is, until it isn't. Right? It's super healthy until it isn't. But the boat's not going anywhere, I promise you. And I'm going to be, um, and I'm going to be here doing stuff until I phase myself out. But I'm going to phase myself out as quick as I can. I'm always going to be coming back. I'd like to do uh, call-in shows because you know what? I have fun talking to you guys. I love doing call-in shows. And I get a lot of views on them, which is kind of why I was doing it. It gave me the opportunity to, to offset what I do on the boat, right? Without having to talk about a rapist. But the number of you who are bummed out that I do call-in shows, right? I promise you, you're never going to dictate what I do on the, on the show. I'll set it on fire first. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my kid who really is ready to go and would probably like to see me do more sobriety content as well. But I've done 2,000 hours of sobriety content, right? And, and with all due respect, when someone says, I really would love it if you would talk about this and you go, I did 32 shows on that. You could go back and look through them, right? Because I've done 32 shows on that, but I'll do another one. And for three years, I've been saying, I'll do another one. I'll do another one. I'll do another one. I'll do another one. When you want to go, go back and look, I've done this, but I'm turning into a jerk. I'm turning into a jerk and the people I'm treating bad are the people I set out to help. Right. And I know a bunch of you know YouTube content creators who don't treat you very well anymore. And in the back of your head, you wonder if they hate you. Right. I'm not going to become that guy. So we're going to work on. I thank you. It's very kind. Um. Um, 
Well, thank you, WP. Um, I'm uh, I'm very much looking forward to uh, to a new chapter here. I'm fired up about it. I think that uh, the stuff that Johnny and I have going on, and in all honesty, you know, when if I sat in this chair to get Q out of prison. I love the fact that I help people get sober, but I sat in this chair to get Q out of prison. And there are opportunities coming up that I think give me a better opportunity to get him out of prison. So I'm going to be doing less of this and more of that. But and I, I'm not I'm not leaving here. But, I, you know, he, this is a really great life lesson. <laughs> you know, this is a really good life lesson. May I make a great piece of advice? Huh? Really good piece of advice. Maybe don't try to burn out the next one. Seriously, I'm out of sons. Everybody, I'm Captain Tommy Scoville. And this right here is a cat in a basket. All right. She ain't going anywhere. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.